Hello, this is Megan Timlin vlogging for First Class Fashionista. It was my New Year's resolution to vlog more, so here goes nothing. Today, we're here to talk about my hair. I've been getting so many questions lately. Is that your natural hair? Do you get a perm? How do you make it look like that? And the first answer is no, it's not a perm. Yes, it is my natural hair. Um, I used to have hair down to here that was half wavy, half curly. And I just got sick of it. It wouldn't curl the way I wanted it to no matter what products I used. So I went to the hairdresser and I asked him to cut my hair with a razor specifically because it's more delicate and it shapes the curls more and he said he could do it and I've never been happier. So I'm here today to tell you what products I use um, because maybe you have curly hair too and you've been having trouble styling it, figuring out what products work best for you. So figure if I share mine, maybe it will help you get on that track. So let's start with what I use in the shower. First, if, I, if I'm washing my hair, um, full washing my hair that day, I use Nopu, uh, Diva Curl Nopu, and then one condition conditioner. The difference between the two bottles is that this is for color care, so if you um, get your hair dyed regularly, this really helps maintain the color. Um, I just use the normal, or normal shampoo and then the color conditioner, just because I do get highlights every once in a while, so I try to preserve them as long as I can. And then, once I get out of the shower, um, on the day where I do wash my hair, um, I use Beam Bubble and Bumble Deep Frizz. I love this product. I've been using it since high school. really helps to maintain that frizz that likes to get out of control when you have curly hair. And then, my favorite product, this is my absolute favorite, is the Paul Mitchell twirl around. Um, I just take it, put it, rub it in your hands, and then you just kind of, you scrunch your hair up back and front, and it's super easy. Um, this really helps give you the more curl shapes, whereas on some days when I'm, when I want to switch it up a little bit, I use the Paul Mitchell Ultimate Wave, which really just gives you a looser curl. And then I diffuse it. So the two products I use when I diffuse my hair are, uh, or three products, I guess. Or this one, um, this is a bigger diffuser. It goes on any hair dryer. Um, these are really what you get if you've had a hair dryer and you don't want to buy a new one. Um, this really helps. You just kind of mm, put it up like that. It helps to find the curls. Um, I bought a hair dryer actually when I first cut my hair like this that has both a straight tip for just when you're blow drying your hair normally and then it also came with the diffuser. I like this one a lot. It's just smaller and it goes whoop, wow. Okay, it goes right on my hair dryer and just kind of helps to find my curls. And then if I'm done doing my hair and I'm like, oh, okay, you know what? There's some curls that are a little limp and they could use use some volume. I use the Remington curly wand and I just kind of take it and I wrap it around, and I hold it for a few seconds, and then I let go. Obviously, it's cold, so it didn't curl my hair just now. But So that's the equipment, quote-unquote, that I use. I do have some products that I use um, to alternate. So when I, I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it uh, three to four days, um, every three to four days. So when I want to switch it up, if I decide I'm going to wet my hair and not wash it, I when I get out of the shower, I will use the Paul Mitchell full circle leave-in treatment. I don't have to use the Bumble and Bumble for defrizz when I use this. And then, um, like I mentioned, I'll either use the twirl around or the ultimate wave. And then sometimes if I want to switch it up a little bit, um, whether I want maybe some, I want more volume in the back one day, I use the Diva Curl Frizz-Free Volumizing Foam. Again, I don't need to use um, the Bumble and Bumble defrizz. And then... Sometimes I'll just use the volumizing foam and it will just kind of work that way or the twirl around. And then on the third or fourth day of not washing my hair, if it feels a little dry because the car is cold, getting to it, I will use the Macadamia um, Natural Oil Rejuvenating Shampoo, which really helps to kind of moisten the hair a little, moist, moisten, moisten, moisten the hair a little bit more. Um, whether your hair's damaged and you just kind of want to rejuvenate it, or if it's dry and you just kind of need a one day pick me up thing. Now my hands are oily. Um, and then if there's a day where I wake up and I'm like, I don't want to wet my hair, I don't want to wash it, I just kind of want, I need to go really fast, I'm going to breakfast with my friend, I'm going to coffee, I have an early morning work shift, 
I use the Bumble Bumble Curl Conscious um, Reactivating Mist. So if there's some hairs, um, some parts of my hair that are a little bit flatter, I'll just take some water and scrunch it in there. And then I'll spray this, and then I'll use the diffuser. Um, all these products add volume to your hair. They prevent frizz, and they really give your curls the moisture they need to lock them in and give them the ringlets or the waves or whatever kind of style you desire. And then last, um, whether I washed my hair or I didn't, I use the Diva Curl Flexible Hold Hair Spray. It really just holds everything in place without being, without giving it that crunchy feel, without making it feel like you just kind of weighed your hair down with all this hairspray to keep it in place. You can curl a hair and spray and it will stay and it just helps you whether you want the back volumized or not. It helps you give you that finishing touch to make that final look what you want. So that's what I use. Um, if you have any questions, if you want to know what conditioner would work better for you, what product will work best for what you have, and you want any suggestions, please comment below. I'd love to help you. Um, it took me 20 years to figure out my curls, so doesn't happen overnight. Um, but yeah, there you go. This is Megan Timlin signing off.